Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Manoj Vishwas and in this channel we perform some activities, experiments and discuss about some useful concepts in mathematics and science. And before doing any good work, we worship Lord Ganesha. So with the help of his blessings, I will be performing my duties and bringing new things in front of you. So today we have got a glass board and it's a kind of inauguration. So I thought better to worship Lord Ganesha. So my son Monal has made a beautiful portrait. And uh, before I go into the today's topic, let me tell you that I have got a new channel exclusively for mathematics and it's uh, maths with Vishwas sir. Those who are interested to understand some basic fundamental principles of mathematics, what are the common mistakes made by students, especially from 8th grade to 12th grade, they can subscribe this new channel Maths with Vishwas sir and we will be discussing about very very fundamental concepts of maths in that channel. But today we have got a glass board. So this glass board is essentially having a glass you can see and just behind the glass I am standing here and the other side of my glass board there is my camera and just behind me we have got a green screen and this green screen can also be used for many purposes you can change the background and you can do many things so i will be exploring all those things in my future videos today just let me explain you what is the fundamental principle behind the working of a glass board so a glass board it has got a glass and uh, all around the glass board there is led so the led is throwing the light into the glass and from the glass the light is going to the air medium but there is a phenomena called total internal reflection of light so this phenomena of light is behind the working of this glass board. What is this total internal reflection of light? When light rays travel from a denser medium to rarer medium, then at a particular angle, it returns back into the denser medium and that gives us the image formation, which I am going to show you with the help of this diagram. So let me give you a a little bit of idea about this total internal reflection say this is a water medium and as you know water medium is a denser medium so this is water medium which is a denser medium and this is air medium which is a rarer medium. Now, in the denser medium, say there is a point P and from this point, the rays are traveling in different direction. Some of the rays will go straight like this and some of them may go like this and strike this surface of the water say there is a fish in the water here so a ray of light going in this direction strikes this surface and making an angle of incidence this angle is called angle of incidence if this angle is more than the critical angle if this angle is more than the critical angle, then this ray, instead of going into the air medium, it will return back into the water medium. So let me show you how it returns back into the water medium like this. So it is coming back into the water medium 
and if you see this ray from here that means staying in the denser medium then this ray will appear to come from this point so the fish in that water will appear to be hanging in the air you can try this out in your aquarium you will be able to see this phenomena working nicely for you so what happens when the ray of light travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium at a particular angle it returns back into the denser medium and make the thing visible into the rarer medium as you can see this fish is appearing hanging in the air and what is this critical angle this critical angle for water to air is around 48 degree but this glass board is made up of glass and for glass to air the critical angle is around 42 degree this is for glass to air so we have to make sure that the angle of incidence in the glass medium is more than 42 degree then what will happen the ray will return back into the glass medium and then it will illuminate whatever is written on the surface especially if that material that you are using for writing is neon expo so we have got different colors of neon expo markers so neon as you know it's a material which is illuminated by light so that this is how this uh, board is uh, actually working so in my uh, next video of physics i will take up this total internal reflection in detail and i will tell you the other perspective of this this total internal reflection is the phenomena which is working behind the brilliance of a diamond all the optical communications internet communication through the optical fibers which is also based on the total internal reflection so one day we will spend for this topic and for the first day as an inauguration day that's it from my side see you in the next video till then goodbye